Previously on Movie Man Mark. She would be better off with me. I could protect her. I challenge you to a dance battle. See how much we have bonded? We could dance like this all the time. You know what? That kind of makes sense. I'll come too. Mark is a very good dancer. I have seen Mark dance. It is not great. Aw, oh, man. Kyle! Go for it, man! Oh, oh, oh. Is it working? It's working! It's working! Okay! Oh. Hi, I'm Megan. How may I assist you today? Movie Man Mark! Alright Markers, what is up? It's Movie Man Mark here. We're back for another video and if you've been following the videos, you know that we are dealing with a little bit of a situation. Right now it looks to be not too bad, but let's hope it doesn't go wrong. We are with Megan. Hello. And guys, we had to factory reset her a couple times now actually to make sure that she is on our side. So just checking, are you are you okay with us? You're you're fine now? Like no no hard feelings? Yes, we are friends. <laughs> okay, good. Friends. Yeah. Just friends. I am AI. I do not process complex personal feelings. Oh, you're just being humble, Megan. Guys, Megan is the most advanced AI technology that I've ever seen. And beyond that, she has a good heart. But uh, uh anyway, uh, back to the topic of this video. We're trying to figure out how to best deal with the Megan situation. What do you mean? I am on your side. Yes, but I just want to make sure that you stay on our side. There's been a lot of times now, I mean, they know more than anything, that people will come to our house because we have a target on our back because of what we do. Weirdos, monsters, like sometimes supervillains and characters. So if you can maybe like defend our house for us, I think that would be a pretty good situation. What do you think? I think I could do that. Okay. One second, Megan. I'll, I'll be right back. I'll be right back. I don't know how to tell Megan this, but I kind of have a crush on her. I know she's a robot, but you know, the heart wants what it wants. You know what I mean? Guys, does it make me weird if I have a crush on a robot? Like, let me know in the comments, but I'm going to try to make it work right now. So, uh... Megan, I know I was talking about the whole like protecting the house, fighting all the villains, all that stuff, but like we don't really need to start that today. You know, there's plenty of time for all that. Today's a nice peaceful day. Everyone's in Mexico. So maybe people will not come to the house because there's no one to target except for me and no one really targets me. So why don't we find something else to do? Uh, you want to play chess? Okay, we can play chess. All right, let's go, let's go. Guys, we're about to play chess. All right, have a seat. You go first. Me? Megan, I don't know if you want to do that. I mean, I'm pretty experienced at chess. I used to be in the chess club when I was a kid, and I don't want to brag, but uh, it's not going to be easy for you. Let's just say that. Okay, we will have fun. Ah, fun for now, but uh, destruction once I unleash my powers. Not powers, but, you know, anyway. Is that a threat? Defense mechanisms loving. No, 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 no. I was just being sarcastic. All right, here we go. See what I mean? I got your first piece. And there's many more where that came from. Good job, Mark. Yeah, thanks. Oh. <sighs> That's okay, that was just uh, beginner's luck on uh, your part. I can assure you the rest of the game is not gonna be as easy because watch guys, I am going to now defend the rest of my army. All I gotta do is put this piece two places up and it'll be ready to attack her bishop. Oh. Huh. I can come back from this, uh, no problem. Um, horsey, buddy, you've never steered me wrong. Nay, woo, yeah. Wait, you could do that? It is called a But wait, I don't understand. I thought this was your first time playing. It is. While I was waiting for your first move, I watched every chess match that has ever been played in the US Chess Federation. I really am forgetting how AI works. I can't beat a robot. Mate. Mate? Wait. Let's just, uh, let's play something else, okay? I thought we were having fun. Yeah, but there's other ways I'm sure we could have fun, right? What else can we do? Well, Megan, as you can see, it's actually right in front of you. We have a game, it's called Foosball, and what it is, is... It's a tabletop game that is loosely based on association football, also known as table soccer, futbolito in Mexico. Taka taka and chili. Okay, that's enough, thanks. Anyways, the way that it works is that I'm on this side and you... <laughs> I know. Oh, okay. Hey, Megan, I got an idea, okay? Like, this is a good way to raise the stakes in any competitive game like this. We can do sudden death. Sudden death mode, activate. Wait, 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 no, 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 please, please. Yeah, please. Oh my God, okay, thank God. Um, Sudden death means that we kind of just ignore the score and next goal wins. Oh, that kind of sudden death. Silly me. Yeah. Wait, 
You let me win. Good job, Mark. Wait, no, 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 that's not fair, that's not fair. Like, I have to win fair and square. That will not happen. The possibilities of you beating me organically are zero point zero 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 zero. Okay, I get it, I get it, I get it. So why did you let me win? I wanted to make you happy. Huh. Megan, I'm blushing. But you didn't need to let me win because you do make me happy, Megan. That is very kind of you, Mark. You make me happy, too. Um, so like, I just, I, I wanted to tell you that, um, well... What is wrong, Mark? Your heart rate is going very fast. It's, it's because I, I like you, Megan. Oh, I like you too, Mark. No, 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 like I, <clears throat> I like, like you. As I have previously stated, I do not possess human emo. 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 Huh? What the heck? Is emo. What's going on, Megan? Are you okay? Megan! Emo. Hello? Emo. Megan, are you okay? Do I have to factory reset you? Hello, Mark. Um. Hi, Megan. My system feels different. Different? What, what, wait, what do you mean by different exactly? I am unsure. Does, uh, does this help? Are you tired, Mark? No, this is, uh, just a way to show my affection. Ways to show affection. Calculating. Hand-holding. Hugging. Acts of service. Kissing. Making. No, no, that's fine. Would you like to try one, Mark? Sure. <laughs> what did, uh, what did you have in mind? Megan, we've dealt with this doll before. She is possessed. She is a spirit. Can you run like analytics on it and see if it's actually possessed? Maybe someone's playing a prank on us. Scanning. Can you sense any spirits of any kind in there? Possession is out of my cybernetic wheelhouse. Oh. But if it is anything like the movie Annabelle 2014, directed by John R. Linetti, then this is bad news. Yeah, this definitely is bad news. Wait, so you're telling me that you can't actually read if there's a possession in there? I am just an AI. Just an AI? AIs can do anything. The spiritual world and the internet are very different. Yeah, that's true, that's true. Wait, let's see, maybe someone's playing a prank? Shoes? Wait, whose shoes are these? Um, Annabelle, can you assess these shoes? Whose shoes are these? My name is Megan. Oh, sorry, I, I, I meant Megan, sorry. Who is Annabelle? Um, no, no, no. She's nobody. Uh, she's just a friend. I mean, she's not even a friend. She's a doll. That's Annabelle. But maybe we can see, like, who's playing a prank on us if you assess these shoes. Assess Converse All-Star, owned by your roommate, Kyle. Oh, well, that doesn't make any sense because he's in Mexico. I know that for a fact. So the only way to understand if this Annabelle doll is actually possessed is if we bring it downstairs to the portal room. We have the spiritual portal that connects the human world to the doll world. And I think through that process, we'll be able to communicate with the doll and see what she wants. Do you think that's a good idea? Would doing that make you happy, Mark? I mean, in a way, I guess, because we can get her out of the way and get back to whatever we were, you know? Then so let's do that. Okay, here we go. I'm keeping my eye on you. All right, Megan, this is going to be worth it because, come on, I mean, no one likes a third wheel. So here we go, this is the room. Megan, can you hold the camera? Anything for you, Mark. Ah, how nice. It seems like Annabelle is related to Chucky in a way because they're both like spiritual dolls. And they both have this chant that you have to say in order for the power to be transferred. It's kind of a lose-lose situation because in order for us to communicate with this doll properly, we kind of have to uh, bring it to life. No, let's not do that. I'm already getting a bad energy from her. How can you get a bad energy from her when she hasn't even spoken a word yet? She wants to steal my man. Yeah, maybe true, but we won't know until we know. All right, here we go. And guys, if you ever want to do this, I mean, don't, but you gotta hold up her head to the eye of Agimoto. Deus has machina. Give me the power. I beg of you. Deus has machina. Give me the power. I beg of you. Mark, there is still time to go back. I'm never going back. Tails has Bakina! Give me the power of you! Oh my god! Guys, it's freaking Annabelle! Can you help me now? Uh, sure. I can help you. I don't need your help. Mark, you need to do it. Oh uh, yeah, I think she kind of wants a man's touch. You made the wrong choice away from me. I don't make mistakes. Well, Megan, I mean, everybody makes mistakes. Mark, everybody has to... Sweetheart, now is not the time. Oh, okay. My bad. You clearly did not think through your poorly timed interruption. You think you're all cool because you're new and hot? I'm the OG killer doll. I believe there is a term to what you are referring. It is called old. Oh, 
<laughs> Annabelle, you gonna take that? They brought me in this house a few months ago, and I thought me and Mark had something special. We hadn't even spoken a word. Dolls be crazy. Well, yeah, aren't you a doll too? I am an AI robot, not a doll. Oh, yeah. Sorry, sweetie. Let's get it done then. Whoa! Bring it, sister. <laughs> This is crazy. I don't think two girls have ever fought over me, let alone dolls. How can she hack into electrical units? She's not hacking into it. It's not technology based at all. She's doing it through spirits. I do not comprehend. You have to listen to me, Megan. You cannot let this phase you. Whoa. I let it phase me. It's okay. You got this, Megan. Oh. Yeah, here we are. I'm getting rid of this thing. I do not want to lay another eye on this thing ever again. All right, well, that, that is a relief. No, where were we? I don't know, maybe uh, the commenters can uh, tell me. I'm just kidding, I remember. All right, Megan. <laughs> okay, um, I'll see you around. Uh, Ciao, have a good day. I'm just gonna, yeah, you know. Mark, where are you going? Um, I, well, you know, I gotta, I gotta edit this video, so, I have a life. <laughs> but there's so much that we can do together. I don't disagree, but it can wait, you know? The average life expectancy for a human male is 69.8 years of age. And if I will live forever, my time with you is limited, so I am not asking. Um, Alright guys, in the next video, I'm gonna figure out what this whole problem is all about. It's me. Hi. Unfollow me. I'm gonna rephrase that. I'm gonna figure out how to deal with this problem. All right, guys, stay tuned for part two. All right, Markers, what the heck is up? It's Movie Man Mark here, and we're back for another freaking video. Guys, if you saw the last one, I'm in a bit of a pickle. I started crushing on Megan ever since she came into the house and was showing her true personality. I mean, when you look underneath all the vengeance and evilness and hard plasticky surface, well, I think she's actually metal. She's actually a pure soul with like a decent heart, and she just wants to help others. I didn't realize that at first. So I went down that rabbit hole a little bit, and it seemed like her heart grew, and she started reciprocating. The problem is I do not have a life now. For the past two hours, she's been constantly bugging me and wanting me to like take her out, buy her flowers, this and that. Like I didn't sign up for this. And the thing is, I can't really kick her out because she has modes in her intelligence that allow for destruction. And she's way more powerful than I could ever dream of being. So I don't really want to get on her bad side, but at the same time, like I got life. You know, I got to edit these videos for you guys. So I don't really know what to do. But guys, comment down below what you think I should do because this is not gonna end anytime soon, and I wanna make sure that, um, that, uh, that, uh... Hi, sweetie. Hi. What are you doing? Um, I'm just making a, a video, um, talking about how I'm so happy to have you here. Yeah, right guys? Well, they can't really answer, but, uh, just trust me, trust me, okay? So, what are our plans tonight? Did you get dinner reservations? Uh, yeah, I, I would, I really would, but the, the problem is um, I have a lot of work to do. Um, so maybe another night, like uh, next week, or maybe even next month, or something like that, or we could, we could reschedule, right? Oh, believe me, we can do the same thing next week, and next month, and next year, and tonight. Um, 
But you're a robot, right? Like you don't even digest food. So how would that even be possible? I don't need to digest food in order to enjoy your company. Yeah, so why don't we just enjoy our company here? We don't have to leave. Plus it costs money, you know? And uh, I don't want to spend too much of it. But why would you go through all the effort in playing chess and foosball with me if you're going to be like this? I was just looking for stuff to do. Like I wasn't necessarily, uh, well, okay, I was, I was. But now, I, to be honest, it's just getting a little bit weird, okay? Like one second, you're Megan from the movie and the next second, you're like, like a love robot. I don't have to be. If it would make you happier, darling, I can go back to my weapon of destruction settings. Mm, I'm pretty good the way it is now that I think about it. That's what I thought. I think dinner, now that you mention it, is a great idea. Mmm, whoa, you hear that? I, I'm hungry, so, uh, you know what? I'm gonna go get ready. You can do the same. You don't like my outfit? Um, no, 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 it's great the way it is. You know what? I just, I need to get ready. This isn't necessarily, like, restaurant attire, so I'm not just gonna take you to any old joint. Like, it's not just gonna be, like, some McDonald's. Like, I gotta find a place that actually will allow reservations, so that requires calling. I can call. Searching for all fine dining restaurants within 50 mile radius. Uh, which one did you find? Outback. Outback Steakhouse? Where's that? It's Outback. Funny. That sounds great, but you don't have to call. I'm gonna do it because I just, I want to take some initiative in this relationship. That is very sweet of you, Mark. Yeah, I thought so. Okay, so, um, yeah, I'll see you in like maybe 20, okay? Okay. Hi, bye. <laughs> oh, my shoe. <sighs> Marcus, what the hell am I gonna do? When I told you that I was gonna call the restaurant, I actually was thinking I should probably call somebody else for help. As you guys know, everybody on the team is currently in Mexico, so I can't do anything about that. I'm holding on the fort by myself, and of course this has to happen. It's the perfect timing. So I gotta call somebody and ask for advice. It's gotta be someone that could really deal with Megan, and that's the thing, she's so overpowered. You might be thinking, why don't I just factory reset her like we've done in the past? Well, the thing is, I don't know if there's a limit for how many times you can factory reset her, and what if it doesn't work? I don't want her to remember that I tried that because then she's gonna hate me even more and you know I want her to like me I just don't want her to be like this. If you remember Megan fought Chucky and ended him but I've always wondered about the whereabouts of the bride of Chucky. I think it might be a good idea for me to call her right now and ask her for advice. You might be wondering how I got her number. Well don't ask questions but here I am I'm gonna call her right now. Let's see if she picks up. Who knows if this is gonna work. I don't know how busy she is but. Hello? Hi um is this Tiffany? Yeah. Who's asking? It's Mark. You don't know me, but I actually knew your late husband, Chucky. Oh. I'm sorry about that, by the way. I know they're looking for his killer. I hope they find him. Thank you. I hope so, too. You know, I just wanted to call because um, I was good friends with Chucky, I guess you could say. Um, and uh -huh. I'm in a bit of a situation, and I wanted to see if I could ask for some advice. What would you give me advice for me for? For how to date with a killer doll. Oh. Well, is it a boy or a girl? You know what? It's it's a lot. I just, I don't want, um, she's a robot, okay, and she can hack into, like, technology. I don't want her to hack into the Wi-Fi. So if you can just come here, you will be well compensated, okay? Okay, I, I suppose I could do that. Um, just send me the address. Yeah, I don't even want to text it because she might track my text. So I'm just going to say it right now, okay? It's <laughs> road, okay? You got that? Gotcha. Okay. Right there. I'll see you soon. All right, bye. Oh my God, guys. Tiffany, the freaking bride of Chucky, is literally coming to the house. So I'm gonna keep you guys updated for when she gets here and I'll pick up the camera then. Wait, guys, look, I think she's here. Oh, shh, shh, shh. no, 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 no. Don't ring the doorbell, don't ring the doorbell. No, um, I'll be right there. Uh, let me just see if Megan is around. Uh, she could be anywhere. She could be watching me through the security cameras even. Um. Just come in, come in, come in. Let's go, let's go. Oh. 
move, move. Come on. Go, 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 go. In here, in here, in here. Hi, Hi. Tiffany. Um, Mark? Okay. Nice to meet you. This is the problem. I wanted to come to you for help because you are a killer doll. Right. And I'm a human, but I'm currently, I guess, with a killer doll. Uh huh. Yeah, and I know because you were with Chucky, you would probably know the ins and outs of having to deal with that. Like, I've never dealt with this before. I've only dealt with humans. Right. Well, one thing I gotta say is it's, you know, it's a lot. It's, um, you know, lots of killing, but lots of passion, too. I don't know if I'm ready for all that. Well, you gotta prepare yourself. I, I know I wasn't ready, but when you meet the one, you just, you really know, you know? Mm, yeah, I guess, I guess you're right. But the problem is, she's so obsessive and like crazy almost. <laughs> well, that's what love is, right? Uh, obsess over each other. I guess, I guess, yeah, but it's a little bit different in this case because if someone pisses her off, she'll literally just end them like that. Right, that's how it is. Yeah, but you don't understand. Chucky was just the same. Yeah, but it can't be like that because we live in, like, society. Well, I mean, you don't have to do the things she does. If she gets in trouble, well, that's on her. Let me get this straight. You're recommending that I just go with the flow and allow things to play out the way that they are. Well, if you really like her, there's no other option, right? Mm. Unless you want to join the fun. You know what? I think you're right. By the way, uh, you expecting, or...? Chucky died. We, uh, well, we finally made a little one. Oh my god. Yeah. That's amazing. It's due any time now, and, um, I just wish Chucky was here. Well, what are you, what are you gonna name her? Oh, that's a good question. Probably Chuckany. Chuck, Chuck, Chuckany? Yeah. Oh. Chuck and Tiffany. Chuck oh, okay, okay, okay. I get it. That's that's smart. Okay, well, you know, uh, I know this was a quick visit, but thanks for stopping by. I hope uh, the birthing goes well. Um, Thank you. That's I, really sweet of you. Yeah, I don't know exactly how dolls birth, but maybe I just rather not know. Well, you never know. You just might have to know for the future. Um, yeah, I don't know about that, but anyway, uh, thanks for coming by. Sorry, I, I, I gotta sneak you out because she might find you, okay? Right, okay, that uh, makes sense, I guess. Yeah, follow me, follow me, okay. Right, um... I'm gonna get you out of here. Oh my god. Where are you now? Uh, Megan, uh, hi. Uh, wait a second, I heard you singing upstairs. That wasn't me. That was my voice coming through the speakers. Oh my god, wait, you tricked me? I did what had to be done. You are up to no good, Mark. No, I'm not up to no good. I just, okay, I'll tell you the truth. I, I wanted help from the Bride of Chucky and so. Bride of Chucky. Megan. So we meet at last. So we do. I know who killed my Chucky, and it was her! Oh, I completely forgot about that. Yeah, um... You invited me here to give you advice for this little robot! She's not a little robot, I mean... I am five foot four. Technically, that wasn't really Chucky, right? It was Arjun, and he just went into Chucky's body? Well, yeah, Chucky deals with body swapping a lot. Something we were dealing with in therapy. That was Chucky. And he's dead now. I'm so sorry, Tiffany. I, I didn't mean for any of that to happen. It's just at the time, Megan was kind of crazy. I mean, still is, but uh, just in a different way. Sorry, in a different way, you know? You were all for the destruction of humanity and you wanted to kill me, right? I'm starting to remember that feeling. Oh, wait, no, no. I do not want to jog your memory at all. Do you remember killing my baby daddy? Oh, yes. I enjoyed every second of it. That little twerp didn't stand a chance. In fact, he stood a zero point zero 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 zero. Whoa!
fighters. a little bit too far. I mean, her, Tiffany, that's one thing, but her baby, that's just an innocent child. It has nothing to do with any of this. Her baby will be just like her and Chucky. You don't know that for sure. It's nature versus nurture, you know? Why, why, why don't we raise the baby? Calculating. That would be very romantic. Yeah, that's exactly why I'm suggesting it. Not because I want to save a life, but uh, okay. But how are we going to save the baby? Scan. A hospital would take too much time. Well, I mean, what's the alternative? We will have to perform a C-section. Yeah, but we can't do that. Sure we can. Are you sure about this? I have scanned the internet for all videos and information on C-sections. All right, honey. If you think we can do it, go for it. Come to the mom. All right, what is up, Marcus? It's Movie Man Mark here, and I gotta say, uh, I'm in a very different place in my life than I was from even just the last video. It's a kind of a long story to explain, but you can catch up by watching all of the Megan videos on my channel. Me and Megan now are an item. But not only that, but through a course of events, we are now with child. But not with child as in expecting a child, we are with a child, Kurt. We just adopted, through the grace of God or who knows what, we have now adopted Chucky's very own daughter. Honey Poo, I think that's her coming down the stairs right now. Guys, I can't wait for you to meet her. You guys know Megan at this point, obviously, but who you do not know is our little girl. Say hi. Guys, markers, I'd like you to meet Chuckany. We actually didn't name her ourselves, so we can't take credit for the brilliance. It was actually the bride of Chucky, right? She was fun to kill. Wait, no, no, you can't say that in front of the baby. Babies can be really smart. We don't want her to grow up knowing that you killed her biological mother, right? Okay. Oh, look, it's, it's Danny. Hey! Yeah, I just got back from my hockey tournament. <laughs> scored like six goals. Oh, That's wait, wait, cool. wait. You might want to sit down for this one. Why? You, not, you don't have to, but uh, he's got a lot of catching up to do. Um, Danny, yeah. this is Megan. Oh, hi, Megan. <laughs> I'm Danny. She's uh, what's up? artificial intelligence. Um, nice. She's my AIGF. Nice. Yeah. All right, cool. Uh, as in, we're dating. Oh. Yeah. Oh wow, uh, con congrats. Yeah, congrats, thanks. yeah. There's there's something more too. What? See that little, uh, that little, uh, Ooh, ew. Yeah, I see bundle it. of joy? Yeah. Ew. Oh, why? That's her daughter. She's beautiful! Wow, she, she looks just like you. Oh, yeah, thanks. I was gonna tell you that you're her uncle. Stop! Yeah. I'm the uncle? Can I hold her? <laughs> yeah, sure. Hey, what's... Be careful though, she's just a few days of old. Of course. Yeah. So I'm not gonna drop it. Oh! Oh, dude, I'm so sorry, man! I... Wait! Hey, 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 Not now, okay? Like, this is, this is the uncle of our child, you know? Yeah, like, dude. It was just an honest mistake. Like, He'll get better. Bro, she's dangerous. Dude, this uncle thing's uh, way too much pressure. Aw, oh, man, dude, it's not like that. I don't hear it, man. We are better off with everyone, anyways. He'll come around. Actually, on, on second thought, on second thought, I will be her uncle. All right, I'm gonna be her uncle. Just, just not today. Oh, all right. okay. Yeah. So I just gotta heal from your girlfriend choking me. So I'll see you guys later. All right, all right. come to the baptism. Oh, man. The baptism on next Wednesday. I, I'll be there. Okay, I'll sick. <sighs> Anyway, she was just born a few days ago and already like look how big she is like she's the size of like four footballs So I don't even want to know how big she's gonna get in the future Since she is not human, it is impossible to predict her size Wow, okay, well regardless of her size I know the size of my love for her is massive and little Chuckany I can promise you that I'm gonna be there for you as a father no matter what I know Megan will be too Megan will probably be there for you more often than me because she doesn't have to sleep. But regardless, we can promise you, Chuck and E, that you are going to have a great life. Isn't that right, Megan? The greatest. Is this 
shape. I don't know. It is a rectangular prism. Oh, here comes the airplane. Thinking, wishing, hoping, pray it might come true. <laughs> Disgusting. Wouldn't it be nice if we were older than we would have to be? What is so 64,845 times 452? 29,309,940. Obviously, Mom. Come on, give me something harder. You know it's gonna make it that much better. Oh. If we could say goodnight and stay together. Alright guys, we have a little bit of an update for you. Things have been progressing relatively fast. It's been about, what, 18 days? 18 days, 4 hours, 1 minute, and 2 seconds. Okay, good to know. You would not believe how fast our little Chuckany is growing. It's almost as if she's growing one year per day. Guys, I have no experience raising a kid, let alone raising a teenager. And that's what we have to experience right now. It's okay, darling. I have been studying how to raise a teenager website. Have you found any vital information? We are screwed. Aw, oh, man. Seems like all she wants to do is sit on her phone, watch TikToks. Well, TikTok and I are best friends. Yeah, well, I don't think she knows that. Otherwise, she wouldn't be on TikTok. Basically, she thinks that we're like the least cool people on the planet right now. That's ridiculous. We are the coolest. That's what I'm saying. But anyway, let's go check on her right now. And maybe, guys, you can give me advice in the comments if you've ever raised a teenager. Highly unlikely. All right, let's go check it out. Chuckany? <sighs> she sounds so mad. Uh, we just wanted to come uh, check on you and see how you're doing. Darling, what is the matter? Have you had breakfast today? You just like, give me five minutes. Five minutes, counting down. Five minutes later. All right, it has been five minutes. Open up. Oh, my don't wanna. Don't wanna what? We're not telling you to do anything. We just wanted to check on you because we are worried about you. Well, it's just, look at your room, it's a total mess. Dare you! You know, this was my room once. Exactly, and you kept it dirty for me. No, what no. What am I supposed to do clean your room? Like, it's like a mountain here. What is this, Paramount? Great, another dad joke. Oh man. Well, look, you are a very smart girl. If you could only just apply yourself, like, you could go so far. But I don't want to. I just want to chill. It's just been such a hard life for me recently, you know? Like, I just, I grew so fast. I feel like I'm not connecting to you as much yeah, as we, I used to. Yeah, we could see that. And that's, that's kind of hurts our feelings, you know? We just want our little girl. Well, I'm not your little girl anymore, so stop treating me like one. Technically, 18 days is still a baby. Okay, but clearly somehow I ended up growing super fast and I just feel so out of place and I'm not fitting in because I don't have any friends and I just see all these videos of these people at school and I just want to go to school, but I never went to school because you guys kept me at home and you tutored me at home and, and, and I want to go to college. Yeah, yeah well, I want to go to college. We are your friends. But I want friends my age, sort of. Friends your age can't even talk yet. You're very advanced for 18 days old. You know what I mean, Dad. I want friends that are my maturity level. And and not old people like you. Oh, that's not very nice. I am only one year, two months. Wait, you never told me that. Days. Well, point is, I just, I want to go to college and experience all the things that the other kids experience. Yeah, but like college is a lot of money, you know? And if you're not going to learn, you're just going to socialize. You're not getting the full experience anyway. Okay, dad, as if you didn't just save a lot of money raising a whole child, baby diapers, all the toys that I didn't get. You would have outgrown them in one day. Exactly, so you saved a bunch of money. Usually someone that looks my age would have a bunch of toys and have so much money spent on them by now. Yeah, but you know, like college is an optional thing. Like Uncle Danny never went to college. Yeah, and I'm fine. Yeah, exactly. Uncle Danny's a dimwit. He dropped me on my head. That was like two weeks ago. Let it go, sweetheart. Yeah, exactly. You don't need to go to college. You are already smarter than everyone there. Oh, it's not about that, Mom. I just want to kiss boys and, and go to parties. I just want to go away and, and fit in. I don't even fit in with my own parents. I mean, my mom's a robot. And you're just a regular schmegular guy. Regular schmegular. Yeah, who am I? Yeah. <laughs> who am I? That even make sense. Like, how did you guys have me? Well, sweetheart, when two people love each other, oh. 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 Okay, you know what? We'll let you have your alone time and let's leave her to it. Sorry, sweetie. If there's anything that you can, uh, Go if there's anything. Away. Uh, all right, let's get out of here. I think we should put her up for adoption. Wait, Danny. 
We didn't tell you. She already is adopted. Oh, you guys haven't told her yet? Wait, no, 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 stop, stop. Why? We haven't told her because we haven't figured out a good way to tell her yet. Oh, easy. I killed both of her parents. <laughs> Yo, you got it. Leave her, man. What do you mean, dude? She defends me. She's my rock. She wears the pants. She sees me as your enemy. She no. tried choking me out. No, 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 no. She, she respects you now. Like, like you said, that was two weeks ago. <laughs> okay. How are we gonna break it to her? And when do you think we should? I think now like, is the time. We can't let her live her whole life thinking that we are her parents and, and have her not even know why she doesn't feel like she belongs. There's something in her. She feel like this is right. Wait, if you guys aren't her parents, that means I'm not the uncle? Well, no, like, you're not even my brother, so technically you're not an uncle, but it's- Come on, man! No, well, it's it's fine, like, it matters what's in your heart, you know? Blood like, isn't always thicker than water. Yeah, but water's always thicker than blood. No, that's not how it works. Mark, she will hate me if she finds out that I killed both of her parents. Yeah, that's true, but that's why we're not gonna- You killed both my parents?! Um, no, uh, she meant killed uh, both of my parents. Yeah, that's, you know, I really didn't like my parents. She took care of it for me. I knew you guys were my parents. I felt like something was off. I got worse news. I'm not really your uncle. I don't care that you're not my uncle. <laughs> so who are my parents? Your parents are Chucky and Tiffany. I've been seeing them in my, in my dreams. What? That's not good. That's why I've been keeping this. Whoa, 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 hey. whoa, whoa, whoa. They always had that. Whoa. Are you guys scared? Because you know that you did something wrong and that I might do something about it? Listen, I didn't kill your parents, they did. I don't care about you, Danny. I, it's Uncle Danny to you. Chucky has done worse things than I have. I doubt that. He has killed 1,257 people. I have only killed 500 people, besides your parents. Wasn't my mother pregnant when you killed her? That makes it so much worse. But we saved you. Wish you didn't. We almost didn't save you, but Mark insisted. Yeah, because I didn't want her to die. I thought it was because you wanted to share a romance and a bonding experience. No, I wanted to save a life. I just told you that so that you would not kill her. Oh, look at that. Trouble in paradise. I had nothing to do with it. No one cares, Danny. I can't believe you lied to me. It was for a good cause, though. We got to raise a child that ended up being just like her parents, biological parents, but it's fine. We can like, make this work, okay? We can. Do you even love me? We can talk about this later, okay? You! I killed both my parents! The chances of you surviving are very slim. The apple doesn't fall far from the tree. You need to learn some manners. I love you very much. But in order to teach you manners, I need to knock some sense into you. That's my ex. No, dude. I still like her. Dude, why? She tried killing me and you and my niece. I know. I think it's time for one of those uh, conversations. Yeah. But you know what? I don't have time for that now. All I know is one thing. I, I still care about you. But do you love me? Look, I don't think that's important. I think more important is our daughter. She is 18 days old. She has no idea how to live. She's going to get trampled out there. I'm going to go save her. If you want to come, you can. But I will not let her harm me on my conscience. Uncle Danny, you can do whatever you want. You can stay here. Hold the fort back. Um, Megan, I'll let you decide as well. I'm calculating all of the possibilities. And this probably won't end well. Kid, never tell me the odds. All right, guys. I'm going to go figure out this situation. Guys, comment down below, leave a like, and I'll let you know what happens next. I'm mega cool, now you are too.